Hey folks, Quillington here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Factorio and today we are actually going to set up oil. Although apparently there is an alien nest very close to the oil deposit in the north. We have another tiny one in the south, but I want to do the big one. Now, we've got a full load of ammo. We do have some light armor going on, so we're going to go and try to take them. Um, oh, there we go. Research, just let the game run idle for a little bit between episodes here. We've got uh, automobilism is complete, which allows us to build a car finally, which we'll probably do relatively soon. And then I'll just keep grabbing everything that just needs red and green research over here. So we have a lot more copper, which is nice. Some stone, some coal over here. We're actually going to need a fair bit more steel, so hopefully we can find some of that along the way at some point. Radar is trying to find some more areas for us, but that's just more stone. Yeah, it's a little light on the... Um, on the actual steel. Uh, you know what might help actually here to make me feel a little bit safer is I'm going to go ahead and set up some gun turrets. Um, maybe a quad set of them. And I'm just going to... There we go. There's our nest. I'm going to just set up a couple of static ones over here. So if I decide... If I'm overwhelmed by attackers, I can sort of kite them back to the turrets. Um, which seems like a relatively good idea. Plus, there's a good chance that the turrets will draw some... Uh, some offended bugs at some point here. Uh, in between episodes, I also um, went ahead and created... Oh, I only have one oil refinery. I do want a second one. There you go. I don't think I had enough... Uh, I think you need stone blocks for it. So I'm just going to set up two of these, because that's all the ammo I have for it right now. Um, and then some stone walls. Oops, a little too far forward. Just to protect these guys. Like that. There we go. All right. So to shoot, you just hold space and it auto-targets whatever's under there. You can also force shoot with another button. There we go. Okay, that takes care of the bugs. Now, I was going to say, these bases tend to be defended by these things that lob bullets at you, which we are quite sensitive to. Your health will regenerate a little bit over time, which is good. I really want to try to finish this thing off here. Oh, didn't quite manage it. I tied it out of range. There we go. Okay, so that's down. So now, oh, there's there's another thing shooting. Are we out of range here? We are. Good, 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 good. So I can go and shoot this spawner here. Yeah, we don't have max uh, bullet damage, do I? Let's say shoot the spawner from safety. It'll limit how much stuff pops out. Uh... Hey, maybe some more bullet damage. Seems kind of relevant. I got the tool belt upgrade at some point, so I've got two rows on there. My god, okay. Um, last time I tried to clear any of these things out, I did it with my car. Apparently the car gun is a lot more powerful, so maybe I will just come back here. Because this is using... Oh, also I had armor-piercing bullets. That's also part of it. Okay, so let's just uh, let these guns do the work for us then. Um, and let's work on pumps. So there are a lot of oil patches over here. Now, mousing over the oil patches, you can see that everything has a slightly different yield. These are not particularly rich patches. Um, oil patches are unlimited, although over time their yield goes down. The yield represents how many units of oil you get per second. So all of these will generate about 0.4 units of oil per second. They do decay over time down to 10% yield, I think, but that's as low as they get. But, you know, at least they do run forever, so that's something. Um, I guess, so we'll get started. We'll just build, um, I've got five pump jacks right now. So I will get started with those. Um, like this. And what we want to do is, they will pump out crude oil. Now, they have to travel along pipes all the time. Speaking of pipes, is this all I've got, really? That many. We're probably going to want more pipe than that. I mean, the underground pipes will see a lot of use as well, but we'll use some of the upper ground pipes. We also need power over here, which is true, and i got to remember that. Um, I think with this, I can run everything above ground for now. Let's go okay. Although you can't walk through pipes, which can be a little bit annoying. So sometimes you'll use the underground pipes just so that they don't get in your way. But the other thing is you don't want to mix two liquids ever. Otherwise, everything just... It just ruins everything. You, you have to keep each of these pipes uh, to a specific kind of liquid. Underground pipes do let you crisscross, though, without interfering, so that's going to be good. Um, so what I'm going to do is build a couple of oil refineries here. Now, um, they have two inputs and three outputs. As far as I know, the two input thing doesn't matter. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually make one underground pipe that goes 
off of here some distance just so that I can walk through. That's going to be okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, where'd my oil refinery go? Right there. Is set this up here and there. And I don't think you have to use both inputs. But the fact that it has both hooked up is fine. I really don't have enough pipes. I need more iron plates. Oh my god, you need a ton. Because I want to connect to that over there. I mean, I probably could have done this using less uh, pipage overall. But connect that up. Now, of course, none of this will work without power. So we're going to have to do that anyway. Um, I still only have the small electric pole tech. Really? Apparently that is true. So we're going to use a lot of these poles. The other uh, electric pole tech goes quite a bit further. Oh, there we go. Electricity distribution. Um, yeah, let's go and do that. It'll remember my research that was assigned to the other one, so that hasn't gone to waste as far as I know. But we're going to prioritize this for the long-distance transmission. Now, I will just go and get everything sort of covered by electricity first. It'll still be blinking just because there's no actual electricity being carried by this right now. So... We'll do this. As far as I know, the other poles don't end up with more range, like the, the catchment area that is covered. Eh, that might not be true, actually. It's possible that they do get a little bit more. Um, 7x7, seven 4x4. Seven, four four. Okay, yeah, so yes, they do have uh, more area covered, but also they have more reach. You can see wire reach of 9, so the medium electric poles. What's our electric one? Electric ones have, it's a 5x5 five five with a reach of 7.5. Um, and then the copper ones will have a 7x7 supply area, much bigger, so you need fewer of them, and they reach a little bit longer. And then you've got the big ones, which actually don't supply very much, but have a huge wire reach, so you don't have to spam them out quite as frequently. Um, the other thing that would be nice is building the car. We need the engine unit, and we need iron plates. The engine unit would be uh, under here, which needs... Just more iron. Iron is the only thing we need. So I'm going to take a long hike back to the base. We need more iron for pipes. We need more iron for all the engine stuff. But yeah, this is a long walk. I would prefer to do it um, in a vehicle. Also, I think the vehicle gun is slightly more powerful. So we'll see what we can do there. I believe I do need more steel as well. Um, I still got plenty of the bricks, so that's okay. So let's pick up a bunch of bullets because we'll have to recharge the gun. We'll pick up iron and we will pick up the steel from there and that's going to be a start and yeah if I could just um can I build it in one go you need eight engine units that is a lot of engine units oh and I can't build it myself Err. I cannot build it myself so this needs three ingredients so it's going to need an assembly machine two and all I'm going to do here is that and that and that, and do I still have a chest? I do. One more of these. A little regular power line there. You are going to be building, for me, an engine unit. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I think, just manually build a bunch of gear wheels and pipes for you. And I'm going to stick them in there. Make all the gears, because we're going to use them at some point. And then we'll need a lot more steel plates as well. for the pipe components. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 50 is probably the most that it can fit in here. So same thing actually with the gear components. I'm just going to cancel that production, put the gears in there. Oh, it can actually fit up to 100. Well, that's interesting. And then put the pipes in there as well. I didn't actually look at like how much it needs for everything. Uh, I'm gonna intentionally put it here. I don't wanna stack too many of these engine units. Because we're not going to need an unlimited amount. I, I assume. I assume you only need them to build cars. But maybe you need them for other things. It does take a long time to build. And again, we need eight of them. What's the ingredient for it? Each one needs... Oh, really not much, actually. I'm surprised. So I don't actually want to load this up. Actually, eight pipes is perfect. Because it'll make eight engine components. Or... Two pipes per. So I need actually 16 pipes in here. Um, I don't know... I'll put 20 more in there. There we go. Whatever. It's fine. We'll just do that. And I'm okay with it. Um, good. We still need still need lots of this because I'm going to need uh, a lot more pipe segments for my work. Because if you want to do underground pipes, it needs 10 pipe segments per plus some plates of the, its own. So, 
you do need quite a bit over there. All right, so we'll let that go. Can I build the car myself? I can build the car myself once I've got the engine plates. Good. Um, I kind of want the electric energy distribution to finish so that I can build the big power cables, which is needs what? Steel plates and copper plates. Oh, one of the rare things that needs copper plates directly. Luckily, I do have some of those. And of course, I do have the steel plates as well. We got lots in our inventory, actually. I picked up way more than I need. Um, so yeah, I want to let that finish. I guess what I can do is I can keep working on my layout up there. Um, even without power. Just sort of get things finished up. And that's going to be okay. Alright, so the oil refinery will convert three... Uh, we'll convert crude oil into three different um, components. Natural gas, light oil, heavy oil? I don't remember. So it's something like that. Certainly natural gas, and I think light oil is one. I just don't know what the third one is called. Now, what's kind of annoying is that early on, you're only really going to use like one of those resources, um, and the other two you can't really use, but if if the, the the pipes for those resources get full, I think they end up, everything just ends up sitting completely idle. Um, so you either have to, I think there's a way to destroy it or you can store it. I'm going to go for storing it and hope that we don't end up with too much of a backlog. Um, so let's go and get the final pipe over here. There we go. So now we've got crude oil coming into both refineries. And I don't know which one is which, but they're all going to be similar. So what we want to do is... Um, we're going to want to line things up. Oh, I think I need a gap here. I'm actually going... This is one of the, the things where... Oh, we did have an extra refinery, so I built one too many. Whoops. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. I mean, I'll need another one later on, but for now, I'm just going to set up a pair here. Um, this is... I'm actually going to follow a, a diagram that I see on the Factorio website in one of their guides. Um, so the, the outputs match up. I don't remember which is which. I think the leftmost one is going to be the natural gas, but it doesn't actually matter too much. But what we want to do is from here, we want to be able to go underground. There we go. And we can go that far. So we can sort of skip a lot of this trouble. Actually, we don't have to quite go that far because we really want to link up with this one, don't we? We want to do this to here. There we go, which is then going to link up to this, and then we can go underground again. Some amount. That doesn't actually matter, but I guess we can go close. Uh, thank you very much. What's number two? What is this? Substation. Oh, supply area 14 by 14. Okay, so this covers, this provides power to a very, very, very large area. But this is going to need Science Pack 3, which are very advanced to build. We're not going to get there for a while. Um, so again, I'm going to keep kind of going through the level 2 stuff. Um, armor Crafting 2. Gun turret damage, yeah. Oh, here's where we go. Military 2. There's the, the armor piercing round. It's going to take no time to research either. Um... So, I think we can just sort of bring it here. That's going to be okay. And then we're going to want... Um, I'm just trying to use the diagram again. And it is mirrored from what I'm doing. So, something like this is what we're looking for. Mm, no. Something like this. And then the next one here, and the next one here. There we go. Is what we're going to try to accomplish. Most word that's too far away. Um, okay, that's good. Research, uh, yeah, research plastics. We're gonna need some of that. Or, did that need blues? No, no, that doesn't need blues. Because if I do this, what's the furthest can, can reach? Oh, no, that's okay. Because we are going to be running this here. So whatever comes out of this rightmost one is gonna get drained into that. And then same thing on the other side, which can end here. There we go, same thing. Rightmost one drains into that. Good, good, good. Okay. And then from here, we end up there. And that goes like that. This will, this will look much better once we actually get... Oh, that's it for my underground pipes? Yes. Build, um... I think we'll actually need a few more here. Well, we'll need lots in the future, so that's okay. We need one that goes to here, to there. And then like that. There we are. So, now that we've got that, we need... Um, big electric poles, because I want long distance transmission over here and yeah we'll need a fair amount of them throughout the course of the game so it doesn't matter if i sort of overbuild right now and ultimately we're going to want to get stop using the small electric poles probably and just use the medium ones especially since the small ones require me to get wood that being said i'll use the rest of my wood 
to finish off my, my small thing, and that's going to be all right. So now, I guess it uses the range of the whatever's least. That's interesting. But now, and by the way, you can just hold down the left mouse click and then move, and it'll automatically put them at the appropriate places. I'm going to go directly south for this and then directly left. Diagonal may save us a little bit of material, but this is going to be a little bit more nice organized for the future perhaps this might encroach a little bit onto the coal or the uh, copper but that's okay we are once again being attacked at our electrical stations now we do have guns over there but we only have a pair of guns and actually um between episodes um our guns actually took damage the last time they were attacked and i built some walls just simple walls around them but we probably have to keep sort of buffing that entire area. Also, I can start making the armor piercing rounds. And again, I think, oh, it needs copper plates and steel plates to make them. So they are a little bit more complicated. Oh, a little bit of damage on one of our ramps. Um, I do have some repair packs over here, which are very easy to produce. And you just pick them up on your mouse and then you can left click to repair things. I don't think damage conveyor belts, I don't know, maybe they go slower. I don't think they do, but once they get blown up, obviously, then that's annoying if you do lose that, uh, that setup. Um, so at some point, and perhaps now actually, I will want to stop producing um, bullets, like uh, the old bullets. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go and just eliminate this entire little production chain for the regular bullets. I mean, we'll still use what was left of them. But we are going to want to set up a, a assembly line. Oh, I still have one of these. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this cable. Put it right here. And it's going to use a long inserter to grab the copper plates. It's going to use a regular inserter over here to grab the steel plates off of that. And then it's going to go and... Um, I don't have any wood for a wooden chest. I guess I'll build an iron chest. Iron chests are much bigger. I don't actually need the size of them, but that's going to be okay. Put that there. You are going to be producing piercing rounds. And you need just a little electricity right over there to keep that going on. I also um, replaced a few things here and there with some fast inserters, like this over here, because um, it wasn't keeping up with pace of everything, especially just the copper side. Notice we've got the backlog there. I have this limited to um, just a couple of hundred or 400 circuits, I suppose, over here, uh, just to not drain too many resources. Yeah, we'll need tons of circuits down the road, but I don't need them right now, so keep things moving smoothly. There we go. So now we're going to start getting armor-piercing rounds. This is very slow, I mean, but that's okay. Of course, I can build a handful on my own, and it's probably not a bad idea to go ahead and do that. And now I no longer have enough copper plates in my hand, which is probably fine. I have something that grabs some copper plates off the line, but I rarely need to, to hold them, but I guess I may as well go and grab some of that. How is our engine production? We've got, oh, we have more than we need, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel the production line. I'm not gonna destroy this though. I'll leave it here in case I want it later on. I'm gonna grab eight into my inventory and I'm gonna build us a car. Uh, oops, cancel the bullet production. And then just restart it afterwards. And so I should now have a car in my inventory and I can plop it down over here. It does need fuel. We're gonna power it with coal. Um, it's gonna need bullets. I'm gonna keep using the regular bullets for now. And you come into the car by hitting enter vroom 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 excellent so the car has its own armor you can repair it and um, it does have a gun on the front of it but it moves quite quickly you don't tend to want to run into things although it's a little deceptive if i run into the trees over here it looks like it took a lot of damage but it you this i don't know if it's logarithmic display or whatever like it shows you missing a piece of health the second you've got a scratch on but as you can see if we keep slamming into these trees we actually have a fair amount of health. It looks like we lose one-fifth of our health on the first time we hit a tree, but it's not actually accurate. Um, and then we can just repair this like that. So you can use it to clear your way through. You can use it to ram things. It does suck if you ram your own um, like buildings and stuff. That's kind of annoying. But overall, it's not too bad. Okay, we've got all this wired up. Everything's got power, so now we just have to tell it to do basic oil processing. So it's going to do that. It's going to take crude oil out of here, and it's going to convert it into, I believe this is petroleum gas, light oil, heavy oil. There we go. Um, and right now, those are all just going to get stored in these tanks. But we're going to start making use of them relatively soon. Take a look at the pipes, the crude oil. Not quite full over here. So we probably could use more jack pumps to max out the production from these two. Um, 
I mean, we could always do the math, right, based on how much this um, processes versus how much our jack points pumps are producing based on the oil patches. But the other thing you can do is just to check to see if things are being capped out or not. So um, there we go. The bullets take so long to produce. So, so long to produce. Uh, as well as jack pumps. But the jack pumps at least make sense. So we'll go and we'll go and drop an extra couple over here. Um, just to try to max out the crude oil line for these two refineries, and that should be plenty. You can see here the light oil pipes. These are, like, they're not being saturated, but that's because they're being dumped right away in here. Uh, there we go. We got one more built, so I will drop it here. And I am going to build an underground pipe here to here, just to make it a little easier for me to walk through this area. There we go. And you don't have to rotate the, the pipes. They don't rotate at all, in fact. Uh, you do need power. I think if we put it here, that should power all these jack pumps up here if I just do that. So let's go uh, with that plan. Um, of course, you do have to be connected to the grid. That'll help. Excellent. Um, -da 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 -da. I think what I'll do is... Like this. And again, another underground pipe. They use a lot of pipe. Um... It's not so bad if you use the entire length of it. If you keep doing these short runs, it's really not very sort of material efficient. But again, it's so convenient to just be able to walk through here. Um, it's interesting that it's less full than before, but I'm, I'm wondering if it might be accomplishing these production cycles a little bit better. I don't know. I'll go and put one more down because I did build it. And I think this could just be done with, well, yeah, yeah, regular pipes here. That's going to be okay. All right. Presumably, we've got this going all the time. And it looks like it's true. Like, this is always full. Does it actually... How much does it use per cycle? Um, if I could stop you... It uses 10 per cycle. Okay. And then it just instantly fills up. So we actually do have more crude oil, I think, than we need. But that's... That's fine. I can't complain about that. All right. So these are starting to accrue that. That's great and wonderful. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and hop into the car. I have 50 armor piercing rounds. So let's hop into the car. Let's put the armor piercing rounds in the car's gun. Excellent. And let's go and clear out this base, which has spawned a lot more critters now. There we are. So, oh, and this thing heals apparently. Now, I don't know if it's the armor-piercing rounds or if it's the fact that the car's gun is more powerful. It does look like it's a vehicle machine gun. There we go. Shooting speed, 15 a second. Doesn't say anything about damage. It has bigger range than mine, though, which is interesting. So this worm's going to shoot at us, which is fine. Oh, actually, we can outrange it, apparently. And then we'll blow this up. Excellent. Now, one of the neat things is these structures will drop these alien... What do they call them? Alien artifacts. Now, you don't use do anything with them right now. That's some excellent driving there, Quill. 10 out of 10. Wonderful job. Um, but later on, you do use them to make certain... Uh, these alien science packs, I think. I've never gotten there, so, you know, your mileage may vary. Oops. That's, that's great. That's great. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm particularly bad at driving these cars. Also, if you don't actually stop the car before you get out, it does keep rolling a fair bit. I just, all I want to do is move it over here and park it. Um, no, a little further out of the way. Right there. Okay, good. All right, so that's one. The next thing we need to do is we need to, uh, we need to process this. We need a chemical plant. So we've got this extra oil refinery, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, I don't know how many of these we need to get started. Plastics research was a very important thing, though. Um, I'm actually going to want to increase the gun turret damage here, which stacks of the bullet upgrades. It's a very short little research, so I just want to go and put that down. Um, I need, well, we need at least a couple to work in a chain here, so we're going to get started with that. Because what we need, what we really want to work our way up to is the ability to start producing the third science pack. Uh, which we actually haven't unlocked yet. Um, how do we get there? I don't just see a blue beaker, but there is something that will lead to third science packness. A 
Well, these are all dead ends. It's not that. This is just research speed, which isn't it. This doesn't seem to lead anywhere either. Sulfur processing, I feel, because it leads to batteries, uh, which leads to oh, robotics, which is very cool. Let's lead to tanks as well. That might be the way. Combat robotics, interesting. We can get that earlier than expected. Uh, we can get our second tier armor, which might not be a terrible idea. We do need sulfur processing. What did I start? Oh, gun turret damage. Yeah, let's get started on this, which is going to be okay. Yeah, so I don't, I'm, I'm going to work our way up the production chain, but I don't actually remember exactly what we're going for. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this one up with the petroleum gas here. Like that. And like that with an underground pipe. And you're going to be producing not solid fuel. Oh, it's none of these. Well, okay. Okay, oh, plastic bars can be produced directly from petroleum gas and coal. What's the thing that needs water? I guess we haven't unlocked it yet. Okay, I mean, we are going to want plastic, so that seems to be perfectly fine. There is coal to our north, uh, as well as the south. The south would be a little easier. So, let's plan, let's, let's grab the coal from here and start another line that brings some coal up over there. I think that's going to be perfectly reasonable. Do I have any electric mines? No. Um, I don't think we need lots. So let's just build like a couple of these. That's going to be fine. Um, and regular transport belts are going to be way more than sufficient over here. That's going to be okay. Uh, I'm just going to put a couple side by side over here. Nice auto save. Oh, God damn it. Which messed up my placement. And then I placed too fast on the second go. We're going to put the power connection right here to feed these two um, and then I guess just the big electric pole here again there we go get all that connected up all right so we're gonna have some coal coming off there and um, like this and like this and like that oh it'll actually use both sides which is quite convenient and I guess I'm gonna go a little higher up and then this way And I don't know where we're going to want this to be lined up. I guess what I can do, actually, especially with the underground pipe, is I can have it uh, show up here. Are we going to have enough? Just barely. Like that. Almost like we planned it, but I assure you I did not. Which should be pretty obvious if you've ever watched anything I've done, that my ability to plan these things is pretty minimal. Uh, I'm going to tuck it in right here. We don't need to use both inputs. Oh, um, that is going to screw up a connection we're planning, though. Because I probably want two of these side by side. And yeah, we don't need to use... I don't think it matters, but I might be wrong. I might find out something. Uh, but if we do something like that and then put a little pipe there, so that'll get in, which is going to be okay. Uh, and yes, you likewise are going to be making plastic. And then that gives us a little space here where we can do that. Now, with an electric pole, can I grab everything in one go? No. Um, but this might be a good one to build the medium electric poles, which I haven't built any yet, I don't think. So let's get some of those in there because... And I still can't reach everything, but at least I could put it something like this. And that'll do. And just connect up to the grid. Alright, so this is now producing plastic. Now, plastics are not liquid, so we can just get them by putting a conveyor belt and a couple of um, inserters to grab the plastic off of this. We can just use maybe an electric pole there. Um, and then... I'm just going to put them in the box for now so that the production keeps up. And then we'll figure out the rest afterwards. We have plastic production, so that's one thing. But yeah, sulfur. So sulfur is going to unlock the ability to make sulfuric acid and then sulfur. Excellent, which we need for batteries, which we're going to need down the road. But... Okay, and unlocking the battery tech is what we need to get the science pack 3. Okay which is what we're working our way up to. We still have lots of research we can do right now, which is the green and the red, but we have to prep that this is the direction we're going in. We're ha gonna have to get to the next level of uh, stuff. So I'm sure this is not like 
this is not the ideal setup for making all these these various plastics and processes and things like that. We're also going to need a fair amount of the um, the petroleum gas. That's what we're going to be very reliant on early on. Um, and we'll probably need more storage for both of these because we're not going to use them for a while. In fact, I'm just going to go, while we're killing a little bit of time here, I'm going to build a couple more storage tanks. And I'm just going to set them sort of back to back over here. Um, you'd have to alternate the way that they're oriented. But there we go. So we've got tons of storage for these two types of oil. This is just currently handling overflow right now. This is still going... Is it going up or down right now? I mean, it just went up and then gets used a little bit. I think it's still trending upwards, the petroleum gas, but soon we're going to be draining this completely and we won't have enough and we'll have to improve our... Um, our... Um, production rates. And yet, we don't actually have maxed out crude oil. Oh, I think it was maxed for a while because we had a backlog of oil in the pipes is what was going on. But now, there's not actually quite enough. So, do I have the material for another pump jack? There we go. That's, uh, I need two more. What am I missing? Oh, a little bit of steel to make uh, the last bit of pipe segments. And actually, I might not be able to connect this pump jack up to the system. Well, maybe if they face it south, no, it'll be okay. So we can get a wee bit more oil going on there. But, I mean, it doesn't matter because we're not using the outputs from the refineries right now anyway. I'm sort of freaking out about a problem that I don't kind of have to freak out about yet. Later on, I will need to get the maximum oil. And later on, we're going to have to go and find another big patch of oil somewhere else and then... I don't know, put it in, probably, I guess we've got to put it in barrels so that we can load it onto trains, which I've never done. So there's going to be a lot of stuff happening in the late game. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't get this a little bit more organized. Um, I don't need the stone fortresses on there. I probably don't ever need them again, but they are there. So we definitely don't need a third refinery. So this is going, I'm going to let it keep accumulating plastic for us, because we'll need some later on, and it'll be nice to have some of it started already even if it's something we're just going to build in hand. And yeah, mostly right now, we're just waiting for the sulfur processing to finish and then uh, the battery processing to finish. So that, well, as soon as the sulfur finishes, we can get sulfuric acid and sulfur crystals getting produced. Um, and then after that, we use that to build batteries. We are going to need, oh, that's actually quite convenient. We are going to need copper over here to make batteries. We actually need copper plates for that as opposed to wire. Right, we're making copper top batteries, uh, and we've got some over here, and we've got coal. So we're probably going to do a copper plate smelting area up here for the purpose of making batteries, which is kind of handy. I can put this probably in the one slot, which will make it... Is there... I'm hitting the one key, and it's not doing this. Are these not hotkeyed? Oh, it's the top one that uses the numbers. Really? I didn't realize that. So one and then go there. I mean, this can all be remapped, but there we go. So we're going to put a cut in here, and I might let enough time go by so that we've got the next bits of tech built for us. Thanks for watching. See you next time, folks.